And so with this one, I'm about to update the mini OBD2. So if you can see, it has already selected it. So I was trying to do it on a vehicle and it told me it couldn't do so I have to find for Excel's update kit. So I downloaded it. So you wait for it to finish downloading. And this same software can be used to update any of the other machines like the mini key tool and this is the mini OBD. So I'll let it download and extract the file and do its own work. So it, it makes work easier. So you just wait for it to finish doing whatever it's doing. So with this one normally you connect the device. And at this point you don't need to disconnect it else you lose your device forever because it is now flashing the system so you wait for it to finish and i use this same software also to upgrade the firmware so this software is only to update the firmware on the tool so you can use it to update the firmware of any of their key tool device normally the handheld ones the small small ones So you just wait for it to finish doing what it is doing because it will take much time a bit. Then maybe after that you do the next thing. So I'm even planning up to buy the Exos key to uh, the Exos multi pro because it can do a lot of works more most the MCUs. So even if the vehicle or the control and it comes to you and it can read you just check the mcu and see if it can read the mcu then you do it that way you read the mcu instead of reading because mostly the eprom and the flash some of them are internally and they are on the mcus so wait for it to finish the update and it will take my a little bit time so i was updating it to 1.5 and it's almost done yeah so now it is done successfully so my firmware is updated successfully thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos